know this is a tournament atmosphere, just two days off in between games and the rest. Heather, the U.S. has not been tested in that manner uh, very recently at all. Oh, when trophies are at stake, things change a little bit, but the U.S. loves when trophies are at stake. I love trophies, Lex. You love trophies. The U.S. loves trophies. So the difference between this game and friendly matches like Columbia is that the turnaround is important. It's important to get your minds right, your bodies right, because you need to get a result in the next game. There's also a, a competition within the competition for spots for this summer, uh, and that's important because there are going to be some players and maybe some very, very big-name players that when that music stops, they're not going to have a chair. That's how deep this team is, and that's how much the competition is for spots going on. So every time you get the opportunity to step on the field, you better show Vlakonovsky and his staff that you deserve to be one of those 18 roster spots for the Olympics this summer. Heather, what do you expect to see in terms of intensity? We heard Allie talk a little earlier about that felt a little lackadaisical last time out. I think it's going to be a high-octane offense from the U.S. They have a very speedy front line in Alex Morgan, uh, Kristen Press, and Lynn Williams, so I think they're going to be looking to get after Brazil get some runs behind and put them on their heels early. Let's take a listen to the national anthem starting with Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem of Brazil, followed by the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. duo on the call, J.P. Della Camera and Allie Wagner. Take it away. Thank you, Sarah. Well, there'll be some changes, Allie, for the U.S. team, but head coach Vlatko Andonovsky says it has nothing to do with the game the other night. These were planned changes. Yeah, he actually made four changes to the lineup, and look, he's got to learn some things about his squad. And one is going to be on that back line in that right back position with Emily Sonic coming in. She does, isn't as aggressive going forward, and she's going to provide more defensive responsibility against what we anticipate to be a really fluid left side of Brazil. Lavelle gets a start over Kat Macario. She came in, impacted the game immediately by finding space. We expect there to be even more space tonight, especially with the front three of Press and Morgan Williams, who are all willing runners to get in behind. That'll soften up the seam for Horan and Lavelle to impact the game, but we've got to see goals out of that front three. Seven of the, of the 11 goals this year have come from the attacking mids. 
Simmons in there, along with the officiating crew, Marta and Becky Sauerbrunn, will captain their respective sides. Our match referee is Melissa Morjas from Honduras. She's been involved in a couple of World Cups of pro ref since 2011, FIFA ref since 2013. As for Brazil, changes their operative word as well, Allie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, six changes. I did not expect wholesale changes from FIA, but that's what she did. And look, I think that right back side of the back line could spell problems for Brazil today with Bruno and Kathleen. Kathleen actually is a left center back with her club team in her, so she doesn't play in that outside back position all too often. That's something the U.S. will key in on. Marta in midfield in that left midfield spot. That's what we're used to, but she's playing deeper, which allows her to get herself faced up and bring into play Dabinia and Ludmilla up top. Look, we know Dabinia is one of the most exciting attacking players in the world right now in the women's game, but I've got my eyes on Ludmilla because this is a player that Pia has said on her best day, she's the best player on the field, but on her worst day, she's the worst. We'll see which one she throws out today. There is the captain, Marta, who scored a goal the other night on a penalty kick. This is her home stadium. She plays for the Orlando Pride of the NWSL. Teammate of Alex Morgan's, by the way, with that same team. This is their home stadium. 71 degrees. Most of the country would enjoy that kind of temperature before kickoff. Rose Lavelle, one of the four changes made by head coach Vladko Andorovsky from the game on Thursday night. That is Ludmila, plays for Atletico Madrid. Five of these Brazilian players on their overall roster play in Spain. Ten of them play domestically in the Brazilian league. Ali, I would think this would be a more open game, certainly, than we had on Thursday night. Both teams love to attack. You'd think so, but let's, you know, remember the way Pia Sundaga set up Sweden against the U.S. and it proved fruitful for them. So I wouldn't be surprised if she tries to keep it tight in the early going yeah. and hit the U.S. on the break and really just allow her team to find their way into the match. Big game for first place in the standings. Brazil starts today in first because of goal differential, each winning their first game. USA in blue, Brazil, yellow tops, blue shorts underway from Orlando. Immediate long ball from the U.S. Left sideline, Morgan was looking for Williams, and Barbara will call everyone off. It's a slow lob on this left side that immediately puts Marta under pressure. up the middle, tagged by Ertz, but not the way she wanted to hit it. Barbara has been their number one goalkeeper for Brazil last couple of tournaments, but she didn't play the other night. Instead, Aline and Leticia split the choice. Her goalkeeper for Brazil last couple of tournaments, but she didn't play the other night. Instead, Aline and Leticia split the choice. Hurts. That's not close to anyone in blue. Barbara will move it ahead. From this left sideline. Played by Tamires. Tavinia lost it. Martha recovers. Immediate switch. Brazil pushing forward. That one's going to be cleared up. Morgan. And the move as press carries. Williams is open. In the box. Williams shot. Save Barbara. And then off Morgan. May have been deflected. It'll be a corner kick, but what a chance by Lynn Williams. Yeah, and Brazil's going for it. I mean, their left back was pushed up, and here they come on the break. The U.S. looking to take advantage of that space that was exposed by Tamir's being out of position. And that's one of those chances. Lynn Williams slows down, actually narrows down her angle. She should have taken that touch a little bit more inside, and that could have opened up different shot selections. But ultimately, in the end, Barbara comes up with a save, and now the U.S. is sitting on a set piece. Press will take it. Megan Rapino on the subs bench tonight. Normally, she takes all of these. They'll go short. Lavelle, better angle on the pass. Cleared away. That was off Marta. Sonnet on it. 
Don Kemper taking away. Brazil will look to counter. Davinia's making a run upfield. Don Kemper tries to stay with her. Right at the middle comes Brazil. Wrong side of Davinia. Early goings, JP, but it's wide open. Hit it for Lynn Williams. Tamires will take this throw in. Played in the last two World Cups for Brazil. Off Marta. Ball is going to be turned over to the U.S. 28 shots the other night for the U.S. But they put less than half of those on target and only finished on the Lavelle goal. Ertz. That's cleared away. Settled by Dunn. Trying to go wide, finding Lindsey Horan, who had the assist on the Lavelle goal. Career number 29 for assist for Horan. Played back by Press. To the captain, Sauerbrunn. Now for Dunn. Too far. The look was for Kristen Press. And the U.S. is getting some width on that far side with Lindsey Horan in this situation, pulling out to that touchline. And that provides an interior channel for Kristen Press to try to slip in between that right center back and, and right back with the ball too heavy. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Sarban will move it for Emily Sonnet. Sonnet's second start of 2021. Lavelle try to leave it. That was dangerous. Done. We'll pick it up. Off the left foot, that's blocked. Beatrice leaving it. Foul on Lindsay Horan. From behind, fouling Andresinha. It's a free kick for Brazil. Coming off that 4-1 win over Argentina, they had eight shots total, but six were on target, and four of them found their way to the back of the net. And a lot of that was just shot selection. I mean, they created clear-cut opportunities against Argentina. And I'm actually surprised that Adriana isn't in this lineup for Brazil today in the center of mid. I thought she had a really bright game. She did come off of that match injured. But still, I was hoping to see what she could do today. She did have a good game, right? She scored a goal, also drew the penalty when Marta converted. Yeah, and that's one of the things the U.S. have to be aware of today is those runs through midfield. They like to surge forward and get underneath play off of their nines, off of Dabinia, off of, Lud off of Ludmilla. Another long ball intended for Morgan. Too far, and Barbara makes the easy grab. Good to see Alex Morgan back in the starting 11 for the U.S. First start since the World Cup final. Headed forward by Sauerbrunn, off the belt. In the circle, Marta looks for it. She reached out and handled it. Marta recently signed a contract extension with Orlando for NWSL team. So she should be good for another couple of years at least at age 35. And she's moved back, you know, as she's aged. Used to be a higher player on the pitch, but I like where Leah is employing her in this left side of midfield. She drops deeper, and it gives her ability to face up and really initiate the attack for Brazil. Williams lost it there. Nice couple of cuts there. Tamiris playing it back. He's blocked. Last touch by the U.S. Well, it's here in the seventh minute, USA versus Brazil. And while no one can win the She Believes Cup trophy tonight, an outright winner is in the driver's seat for sure with a couple of wins. Done. Dal Kemper, who now plays in England, Manchester City. The tap for Sonnet. Short passing game now, Sonnet. Ludmila 
dangerous the way she left it. U.S. will collect it. Del Kemper. Crystal Dunn, immediate pressure. Beatrice. Up the other cups. Service from Morgan to about He had a really good end to out run from Alex Morgan. You can see her just hanging on that back line to stay on side, and then she can turn the corner, and now that's going to open up space in the interior for Rose Lavelle surging forward. You've drawn both center backs over, and Rose Lavelle gets a step on her man in midfield. And that was a really good look there, and it's the pressure of Tamir's perhaps that throws Lavelle off in the end. It's a little half volley, just trying to get a big toe on it. Under pressure, Martha was almost dispossessed. Good <laughs> fight for that ball and then the foul. Well, she knows she can pull that off. <laughs> Brazil on the ball. Rafaele going along. It's off to Binia. It'll bounce back towards Emily Sana, who will play this year for the Washington Spirit in the NWSL. Back for Sana. Lavelle for Lynn Williams. Williams squaring in, coming in late. Hurts put it over. And there's just a ton of space for Rose Lavelle to operate in against the system of Brazil's 4-4-2 rigid lines. And the U.S. is really picking apart Brazil on this right side. I've liked the rotations and the interactions you've seen between Lynn Williams, Emily Sonne, and Lavelle. Barber tells her defenders to push forward a little bit more and then does that. Tamiris was immediately under pressure. Ball is turned over. Barber needed to do a better job with that clearance. Lavelle stopping it. Watson on that left foot. Nice cutting ball. Williams into the box. Waves it across. That's blocked. Still loose. Lavelle reached in. Couldn't get it. Cleared by Brazil, but they lose it off that touch from Beatriz. Dangerous too. Look at Brazil on the chase. And now they must defend against this. This shot. Goal. What nothing US on a goal for press. Quintessential USA under Vlakuen Devnovsky. It's that ball out to the wide area with Lindsay Horan pulling wide. And again, that channel created because of Horan's presence. So Kristen Press has all day to go at that center back, get her moving the wrong way, takes that first touch, draws her in a little bit, and then knows exactly where she's going to do. Cut against that momentum and get it on that right leg. And now the whole goal is yours. You get to pick your poison. She opts for the far post and a perfect strike in the end. Doesn't even take a look at it. She knows where she's going to hit this. You get the technique right, the goalie can do nothing, and that's what happens for Barbara. Confidence strike for Press, goal number 59 in her international career, and her 10th goal in the last 13 games in the USA jersey. And production out of a member of that front line. Good sign for this team starting off against Brazil. There's a lot of space trail. out there. Yeah, first time they've trailed on this tournament. They scored that first goal against Argentina on Thursday. Here's Sonnet. Let's see what that goal does to the game. Look out. Look who's wide open again on that far side. Then that pass fails. Cut off by Andresa. Ran it in a traffic and almost paid a price. Marta. Move that was by Devinia. As she got past Dahl Kemper, help was coming, slotting it through. Litvina in the box. Blocked. Crystal Dahl with a 
big time play. Davina still on the dribble, lost to Dahlkemper with a clearance. Well, Chris the Dunn saved the game there. Listen there, didn't have to come up big on that. Press back the other way. That's the danger of Brazil and their movement and the skill of Dabinia. Just single-handedly takes out that back line of the United States with that step over. Dabinia. Great recovery. Left sideline. Tamiris, the left back, all the way upfield against Sonnet. U.S. with a 1-0 leader and a goal by Kristen Press. Tied with Lindsey Horan last year with seven goals in 2020 to lead the team. Back the other way. U.S. lost that one. Ludmila in. Cleared by Sauerbrunn. Marta. Still in it. Marta. Low shot was blocked. Williams clearing it away. It's deflected. It's wide open from Orlando. Morgan is after it. An interesting JP. It looks like the U.S. is actually leaving Morgan above the ball, which they don't typically do. They'll bring back Press Williams, and oftentimes that striker comes back as well. But they're leaving Morgan high, and I think that's an area that the U.S. wants to hit. The area in behind Brazil's back line. Sauerbrunn. Short for Crystal Dunn. Her defensive play moments ago was huge. Otherwise, might have been a 1-1 game. Flag was up. And she's the left back, so Ali, she had to come all the way across the field, had to recognize that play first. Well, I think this is a look at, at Press's goal that goes to that far post, but you're exactly right. I mean, the recovery effort, the recovery run, the discipline to stay with that player, also valuable, and I think that's one of the reasons Vlaco has a hard time considering her not as an outside back. Rafael Looks like passed. the U.S. JP, they're still steering Brazil to go down their own left, and it's an interesting decision with Marta on this side and with Rafael as well in the center back. Williams again getting an edge in front. It's loose. Oh! after it. Lindsay Horan with a pick up for Crystal Dunn. Another long ball from Dahl Kepper headed up awkwardly. Kathleen. And was last touched by Brazil. Throw in U.S. Julie Ertz. And no one near it in blue. Goal kick for Barbara. Here's a look at Lynn Williams getting in line. Alex Morgan making that near post run, and, and the ball pops out to Rose Lavelle. She doesn't see any friends if she wants to pass that ball to him. Has a go herself. Lavelle with a couple of goals down in her last four games. Came off the bench the other night to get that game winner. Morgan this time on the right side, tackled out by Andressa. And Morgan doing a lot of work to defend against Raffaele because of her range. U.S. really pinching in on this side. 17th minute, Kristen Press with a goal, that's the difference. Hurts floating one in, wanted her in, it's loose, Williams, and that's blocked and cleared. Davinia. Back the other way. The trees to the left. Here's Marta. Marta cutting. Draws two. Wants the help. Finds it. Andresinha. That shot is up and over. Listen in. Andres with that last shot. And the U.S. will be really comfortable if this is the shape of the shots that are being hit at listen air. Marta did well to drive in and attract two players, which created that space at the top of the box, but nothing on that shot. 
Listen here, comes into this game with nine consecutive shutouts. That's a U.S. women's national team record. And they've always had great goalkeepers. So to think that even Hope Solo, Brian Ascari, didn't get to nine straight shutouts, that's a feather in Nair's cap. That's in a remarkable stat, actually. 821 scoreless minutes coming into this game. Dahlkemper, 18th minute, U.S. with a 1-0 lead over Brazil. Kept in nicely by Williams. Here's Lavelle. The cultured left foot, Perrin, pulling it back nicely. Sauer run high upfield for Dunn. Wide on that left side, the press pass. Looking for Morgan inside. Sent the other way. And now it's Marta. Simple ball for Tamiris. Devinia. Devinia. Off for Marta. Give it go. Number 10 in the yellow and blue, Brazil. Marta. Low cross. Not much on it. Look at Devinia. Great little moves there. Cut it back. And that was open for a bit. And it's going the other way. Dabinia's been a bit of a handful here for the U.S. And, yeah, and look, Brazil did a great job. They got it out the weak side, and then it was simple combinations. One, two down the flank that allowed them to get into these areas and saw it with this lazy back pass that Dabinia ran through and picked off and created another good opportunity for Brazil. Dabinia's already scored 11 goals in 14 games under Pia Sundhag as a head coach, so clearly... She has become more of a goal scorer under Pia. Playing a bit higher up the field and more of a go-to player these days than before. And I think you have to credit a lot of development that she experienced at North Carolina College under Paul Riley's system. We saw that she's able to obviously assist on, on beautiful goals, but, but find the back of the net herself. And she just pops up in the right areas at the right time. She has great instincts. Better start for Vlatko and Danofsky's side. It was scoreless the other night at halftime, despite all the chances that the U.S. had. Here they're up 1-0 on a press goal. In a game that's going to tell them a lot already. I mean, they've been exposed in areas. And Dracenia took it away from Lobel. This right side, Brazil have numbers forward. That one needed to be wider for Martha, who was open. Instead, it could be a U.S. counter. Lynn Williams. Started every game this year for the U.S. Williams is behind Morgan. Williams kept it alive there. It's knocked out of play. Williams and now Julie Ertz are the only two players that have started every game this year. And the reality for Lynn Williams in this lineup with under Vlaco's system is, yes, of course, you want to see that offensive production, but a lot of her playing time, I think, goes back to the defensive work that she does to hunt the ball back. A little bit of juggling there, and Andressa comes away. Ludmila. It's tackled out. Both sides think it's their ball. It's ruled a Brazil throw in. And that's really good defending by Sauerbrunn, JP, because she doesn't let that become a foot race. She gets a tackle in early. Moran trying to break that up. Brazil will recover. Down that right flank. Ludmila. Dabinia made a run. Ludmila still with it on the dribble. Good job by Sauerbrunn. Good 1v1 defending. Excellent. She stood her up. And then let Ludmilla make the mistake. And that's when she jumped in and won that ball. 180 appearances for her country for Sauerbrunn. This is 181. 
Done. Brazil with some higher pressure. Knocked out by Beatrice. It's a crystal dump throw in. Touched up for press. And then knocked out of play. Still belongs to the U.S. Morgan down. Foul on Bruna. Well, here's a good look at it. Looks like she stomps on that foot of hers. And Alex Morgan fighting more joy initially on the left side. Up by Tamidis. And that's the trap that the U.S. sets. Off Lavelle. An early ball was picked off. That was red. Andresinha. Flying upfield. Andresinha putting it in the space for Ludmilla. Sarabon after her. Ludmilla saved by Mayer. And the angle cover. Did a listen there. Throw in Brazil. And Becky does all she can to deal with the middle of her. She's just trying to body her up to stop the momentum and then just keeps her driving so she can't cut in. And makes that angle difficult for her as she nears that end line. Good strike in the end, though, to get it at least on frame by Ludmilla. And a glimpse at her pace. 25th minute. U.S. still up by a goal, thanks to Kristen Press's talent. to Alex Morgan, 107 international goals, tied for fifth all-time with the great Michelle Akers. Julie Ertz, nine straight starts where she played the full 90 for the U.S. Ertz has been one of the most dependable players for the U.S., going all the way back to the 2015 Women's World Cup. And there she was a center back. Back to the feet of Barbara, under pressure. Decides to break that pressure on her own, but the U.S. almost got it. Morgan backtracking, committed the foul. Against Beatrice. Good tracking by Alex Morgan, and yes, she swipes out those legs before he even makes a play on the ball. I don't even think she touches it. Dangerous in the end. That should be a late yellow. Free kick for Brazil. From the halfway line. It's given away. Lavelle. Pushed wide by press. Saw it. Halfway line game. Squaring for Ertz. Wide for Lynn Williams. Trying to get the better again of Tamirez, but not that time. The U.S. will get the ball back, though. Looks for help, sends it across, that's blocked. Cleared out by Brazil. Dunn recovered it back for Dal Kemper. Lindsay Horan up the middle. The return is for Horan. Chased from behind, she got it for the left. Ertz, the cross, headed up and over. It's Lynn Williams. And the U.S. is just constantly asking questions of the back line of Brazil. They're getting four players up on the back line. In this case, it's Julie Ertz, who just remained wide. And Lindsay Oran sat in that sixth spot. She's the one who fires the ball across. Lynn Williams can't put that on frame.
expected a different game than we saw the other night against Canada. We're seeing that in the first 27 plus minutes. Yeah, a lot different. And one of the things defensively that you're seeing out of Brazil is they're comfortable going 1v1 defensively. They're not getting the cover player close enough, and the U.S. is winning those battles for the most part right now. Forced back by Dibinia. Del Kepper. Lucky Sarban will feed Crystal Dunn. game for each team in this tournament. U.S. will play Argentina Wednesday. Brazil will face Canada. Canada and Argentina playing later today. That's going to be too far away from Rose Lavelle. Throw in for Brazil. <laughs> 29th minute, the difference in the game still. The goal by Kristen Press came in the 11th minute, or 59th international goal. Horan. Off another Horan touch for Sada. That's blocked. Marta takes off and then drew that foul. Free kick is coming for Brazil. Marta asking for a yellow card. <laughs> a warning instead. Well, Brazil, or excuse me, Marta's got the edge on Sonnet and professional foul. Sonnet knows exactly what she's doing. Slows down the attack of Brazil. 30th minute. Rafaele sent it forward. Crystal Dawn will track it down. Press. Horan. Brazil going after the ball. Very aggressive in their chase. Dabinia trying to close down Dal Kemper. U.S. though will pick it up outside the circle. Into the streaking Williams. Tying it up. Lavelle trying to bring it down off the chest. And then it was wide of Barbara, but it was handled. And even though it's a handball in the end, you've got to give a lot of credit to Alex Morgan on the initial pressure that she was going to put on the back line, and she recognized she couldn't compete for the ball and dropped off the center back, and then she was able to pick up the second herself. That Allie, is for, that moment for Rose Lavelle. Alec, for those joining us late, how would you sum up the first 30 minutes that they missed? Wide open, fun football. I mean, this is a game that the U.S. thrives in. When they can hit the space in behind, when there's a seam on between the back line and the midfields for their tens to operate. I mean, this is where U.S. thrives, and, and they're spreading out the pitch with wide play, and that's even creating bigger channels to run into on the interior. Marta, left side, Tamiris, squaring it, and Rosinha, Tamiris. It's cleared away. Brazil will get it back. And Rosinha plays for the upside Corinthians. It's pushed to Marta. Rosinha, low cross, the flex out. Tag there, but it's high and wide from the Sinair from Andressa. And JP, I think defensively, the U.S. is handling some of the chaotic moments well enough. You know, you've had last-ditch tackles. You don't want to be in those situations, but of course it's going to happen when you're playing against a creative side like Brazil. Poor clearance by Ertz, and that gives Andressa the opportunity to have a go on frame. But look, that's two that she's put over the top and had no venom in that strike at all. 32nd minute. One goal separating these two teams, thanks to Kristen Press in the 11th minute. Much more free-flowing game than we saw against Canada the other night, where Canada compacted things against the U.S. Ludmilo looks for it, and the very active sour run will tackle it away. Wednesday on FS1, she believes Cup continues. USA will take on Argentina. You also have Canada versus Brazil. The U.S.-Argentina game will be the second game that day at 7 p.m. Eastern time. 
Ramirez with this throw in. Tackled out by Lavelle. 33rd minute. Marta trying to shake off Williams. Williams the other way. Alex had it too far in front of her. And in the end, got bailed up by that foul on Bruna and a yellow card as well. It's the third yellow card against Brazil in this tournament. And she just gets the challenge all wrong. I think if she wins that ball when she first goes around with that lead leg, the right leg. Instead, she goes over the top of it. If she connects with that ball, I think that's a no call in the end. Other players with the yellow cards for Brazil in that first game were Marta and Beatriz. So if either one of those two got a yellow card in this game, they would not be able to play on Wednesday night in their final game. Press left side. Going against the U.S. Press still with the game's only goal. Red hot, as we mentioned, with 10 goals in her last 13 appearances for the U.S. Brazil will try to work it out of the back. Tended for Marta. Now it's blasted ahead. Saved by Sauer, run up the middle. Andressa. Long ball for Ludmila. Picked up. Davinia. Davinia comes to the defenders trying to slide it through. Unless she was going to have a go on her own. And now the flag was up anyway. Davinia's just having her way with Dahl Kemper, with Sonnet on this left side. Here's a look at it. Picks the pocket of Dahlkemper, and now she's caught between two minds. Ludmilla clearly ahead of that back line in offside position. I think Dabinia opts wrong in that moment. She could have slipped in Beatrice on that right side. Yeah. Or taking the shot on her own. Ball comes back. Beatrice, yeah, goes in for a tap in. <laughs> the middle from Brazil that's blocked. Brazil will get it back. Pass back from Bruna. Short passes here now by the Brazilians. Now they'll switch it. All the way to the left, Tamires. Receives against Williams. Marta. Tamires. Pena this time wide left. Williams takes over. Press will find the streaky Crystal Dunn. 37th minute. Touch pass ahead. Rose Lavelle. Blocked. Brazil will try to clear it upfield. Give it away to Press. Shanked by Hertz. Seventh minute, still a one to nothing lead for the U.S. Between these two coaches, Vladko Andonovsky and Pia Sudhaga, they've lost one game. They each coached in 14. And only the one loss was Brazil losing to France. That's been it. Vladko has not lost. Liddell into the box, and it's an easy catch for Barbara. And this is a better distribution, but Marta had to still wait for it. Rafaela. And Rosinha. Try to find Dabinia wide. Horan. Forced back. 
The Dal Camper pass. Sauerbrunn done. Trying to come back the other way. We'll play it all the way back, but there was a foul. These are areas that the U.S. is fighting some joy in, getting around the edge and being able to release that service. The U.S. gets a couple players in the box, and we know that Kristen Press wants to cut it in on that right foot. Traffic in front of her, and then doesn't connect well with her second go. It's a free kick for Brazil. Comes all the way back to Barbara. One of the things that maybe we don't talk about enough with the U.S. is the way they pressure in their line of confrontation. Teams that are trying to build off of goal kicks, it's very difficult for them to get any sense of rhythm or possession. They turn it over within two, three passes. Sonnet trying to solve this pressure from Brazil. Good job of the show for it from Alex Morgan, who was fouled. That was the look like again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got this. Why am I out here again? I got a daughter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bad foul. Sour run from Ertz. All the way up field block, but it falls to LaBelle. Morgan is upfield too. Here's Rose cutting. Look at it shot. Deflected easily into the arms of Barbara. This is crunch time now, final five minutes of this first half. Can't give up anything here for either side. No, and we know with Press, she wants to cut in from that left side onto her right, and with Lavelle, she wants to cut to her left. But they're going back into the numbers of Brazil. The entries. Into the box, never got to Ludmila. Dunk stops it. To Brazil. In the 41st minute. Kathleen will take this throw in. Ludmila. That's blocked by Morgan. Julie Ertz. Outlook pass. Intercepted, Andressa. Andresinha. Andres behind Tamiris. What do you think Pia Sunhaga has liked about her team, Ali, in this first half? I think you've seen moments of flair, but I don't think she's going to be as pleased with the connection. I mean, one of the things she talked about was getting this team connected defensively and offensively. I think they've been a bit stretched defensively, and then offensively, they're playing a lot of longer passes. Shorter passes, typically, the U.S. has more difficulty chasing. They can handle that physical duel if you're going to put it up in the air. Dal Kepper, high upfield, into the middle for Lavelle. Good 
was in front. And again, you know, for Brazil, they're just isolated. You've got Lindsay Rand going 1v1, covers nowhere to be in sight, and you can play an easy 1-2 and get this service off. Alex Morgan almost gets that deflection back on frame, but difficult to react in such a quick time. Rose LaBelle. Easy play for Barbara. U.S. with a one to nothing lead on a goal by Kristen Press. Minutes away from halftime. 24th minute. Brazil was up 1-0 in their first game at the half. And then they had that stronger second half. The U.S. and Canada were deadlocked at zero. They didn't get a goal until Rose Lavelle scored later in that game, 79th minute. Mila heads it down. U.S. try to clear it. Andresinha. Good Mila. Had her pocket picked. Space that's going to be too far. Somewhat risky. Back to Barbara. That was risky too. Picked off. Press. Slides it to the Rose to Brown to get a touch on it, but Andresinha gets the rest of it. All the way upfield. Gavinia has help going. Beatrice on the run. Gavinia into the box. Sliding it. Good field. Closer to Beatrice said it could have been a tap in. Well, it's a counterattack moment. Attacking transition for Brazil, and they get around the edge. They get around Sauer Run, but look at the recovery effort of Julie Arts. Look where she is on the field right now. She has a lot of ground to make up, and she takes off. And you can see Dabinia slows up play. She's waiting for help from that right flank, and ultimately, Julie Arts is the one who gets on the end and takes away that goal-scoring chance for Bia. That would have ended the half, or could have ended the half, with an exclamation point for Brazil. One minute, and it on, and stoppage time. Brasenia on it. We're in stoppage time now. LaBelle. Sonnet. Long ball right. They've been targeting Williams on that side. She's had the better of Tamiris so far. Ball goes out. Barbara will put it back into play. Switch by Brazil. Kathleen side. has just a one to nothing lead on a goal by Kristen Press that came in the 11th minute after the break. We'll go back to the studio. Sarah Walsh, Heather O'Reilly, and Alexi Lamas. Eastern time also on FS1. It is a one nothing lead for the United States after 45 minutes. And you look at the stats. It's the U.S. with all of that possession. Brazil had those same possession numbers, Ali, in their first game. They've not had as much today. Yeah, and, and Pia hinted on it what, coming into the match. She said, look, we might try to hit them in transition. That's where we think we can take advantage of the U.S. And they've left Dabinia high. They've left Ludmilla high at times. And, and that's where they're trying to expose the U.S. between the center backs or just finding Dabinia as the outlet. The question for the U.S. is, you know, can they keep things a bit tighter so you don't have to have those last moment tackles, those last ditch efforts from a Julie Ertz coming back from midfield, from Crystal Dunn on the far side all the way over to the near side. You know, those are the questions for the U.S. in the second half because I think offensively they've been humming. Again, these games when Pia Sundhag has been the coach, and this is all with Sweden, 
There have been five games played between Sweden and the U.S. One, three, and one is Pia's record. No game has produced more than two goals. The highest score they've had is 1-1. So even though you've got mighty Brazil in their offense, we still have a tight, low-scoring game here. And we'll see what adjustments either coach will make once the second half begins. We don't see any changes as of this moment anyway. Six subs are allowed in this tournament. And we're hearing that no subs as we expected to start this second half. Each of these teams with a win and three points. So even though no one can clinch today, an outright winner will have six points and will put them in the driver's seat with one game left to go on Wednesday. The U.S. will try to win their fourth, she believes, cup title. Underway, second half. Brazil on the ball, yellow and blue, going left to right this half. It was blocked initially, then Beatriz got it forward, cleared by the captain, Sauerbrunn. Lynn Williams. Slowed down by Tamietis. Sana for Hertz. That's deflected. Picked up. Raffaele. Given right back to Hertz. And Kristen Press. She has the only goal of the game. On the cut. That move was denied. Horan will find Press again. Ball goes inside of Kelly. by press. Yeah, she Come is on, just there. feeling it today, and it's the combination of Moran and they the space, so then she can see the first touch gets momentum, and then just swallows through two others and can't cut it back enough to find a player in the box. But really pretty by Kristen Press, and such a great understanding of the movement of a defender to be able to go against their momentum. Gets in there, Ertz and Horan among others. That was not the way they drew it up. Goal kick for Barbara. What might be concerning Vlatko Andonovsky, Ali, to start the second half? I actually think he wants to see this team get exposed. I mean, they're learning a lot from this match, and he talked about the creativity and the community of Brazil and how you can't defend against that necessarily. You just have to provide a structure and react to those moments, and I think this is going to show the U.S. where they need to shore up some things, and they are getting stretched a bit, but credit to them. The recovery's been there, the discipline's been there to get back and still keep Brazil off the score sheet. Barbara will switch it all the way across. Tamiris, Raffaele, and Grosinho. Long ball by Brazil, headed away by Sonnet. Brazil picking it up, Marta. From the left, Tamiris cross. Cleared by Haran, but not out of danger. Lindsay has a second go at it. That's an athletic move by Haran to get the U.S. attack on the move. From defense to offense in the blink of an eye, Haran will find Crystal Dunn. Dunn bringing it to the middle. Right side, too far for Williams. Ninth minute. Kristen Press still with the game's only goal. Came way back in the 11th minute. Marta. Nice tackle there by Lavelle. It'll be a Brazil throw in. The 
Brazil is in a very select group. They've made it to every World Cup, eight of those, and seven Olympics, counting the one this summer. Only the U.S. can make that claim, and Sweden. But Brazil have not won any titles. He has coached all of them. Yeah, true. U.S. recovers. Up the middle. Lavelle. Trying to spring Williams. Brazil have that covered. Marta. Did well to catch, catch up to that ball. Marta lost it there. Rose Lavelle. Lynn Williams. And that was last touch by Brazil. Williams will take the throw in. Williams. Looks like she was going to get around the foul against Tamiris. U.S. will have a free kick. tournament. Bruna has one for Brazil in this game. And it's another silky touch from Kristen Press and then just a really chip ball into the box. Not a lot of pace on it. Barber goes up high to grab it, spills it and then the friction ensues. Yeah, her end caution wouldn't allow Barber to play the ball. Marta on that cutting pass. Tamiris couldn't find it. Julie Ertz can. Julie's pass in the space. Williams catching up. Off Williams on Morgan. And now it's going to be Brazil back on it. Beatriz. Five goals in 11 games for Beatriz under Pia Sundhagen. Locked again by the U.S. That time it was Sonnet winning it. Now it's Ertz. Helps out. So the earth's going forward. Freed herself up for a better angle. That's press with Dunn on the other line. Pistol Dunn left. The cross. What? Dunn may get to this yet. Trying to turn and does play it in front. And that one was a handball on Alex Morgan. Dunn cleanly beat Kathleen on that turn. Yeah, and look, a lot of the action has been on that far side, the right of the U.S., the left of Brazil. But when they get it to the left side of the U.S., you see how explosive and dangerous they can be. In this case, Dunn, just a swivel, simple swivel of the hips allows her to get in line and get that service off. And we know Alex Morgan in that spearheaded center forward role. She likes to make that near post run. Fourth minute, U.S. with a one to nothing lead on a Kristen Press goal. Happened way back in the 11th minute, her 59th international goal and 10th in her last 13 games for the U.S. Marta, 
Got the left foot on it. For Ludmila. Blocked by Sonnet. Belongs to the U.S. Uh, not from there, though. Sonnet has to back it up. U.S. with possession in their own half. They had the edge in the possession stat in that first half. Both teams had possession in the high 50s in their first game. In this game, it was the U.S. that had that big edge. Sonnet blocked. Marta, so dangerous. Dominio looked for it, couldn't find it. Ludmila, Marta. Nice ball in. Nowhere to go, though. The turn by Marta. Kept it low. Played in. Off there. Flag was up, though, on Brazil. And at first glance, she looked offside by a mile. You could just see that play developing, and you knew exactly what Brazil wanted to do, and the U.S. was strong in holding that line. We're going to see a change. That is Julia coming in for Beatrice. Julia was a starter the other day as a holding midfielder, so we'll see if she plays in that same spot because that's not where Beatrice was. No, I would anticipate a dress that goes out to that right mid. First substitution made, and it came in the 56th minute. Julia's another one of those players that plays domestically in Brazil for Palmeiras. Ball played up. That's her. An opportunity for the U.S. You're seeing either her or Morgan come back into that central area and win possession, help them defensively, and then they try to find Lynn Williams on that right flank. Beats Tamiris clearly. She's going to say bye to her. Tamiris has to hold her up foul and ultimately draw the card. Free kick for Sonnet. Trying to go long for Morgan. Cut off, cleared by Raffaele. Tamiris, Marta. Andresinha gets it wide right for Kathleen. Plays for Inter Milan. Setting it long. First ball one, second header cleared by Sauerbrunn. Moran muscling her way through to win it. Nice tuck in move there. The side of Williams. Barbara is way out on that clearance. But Brazil picks it up. The attempted flick by Davinia. Clever move, but it didn't work. Intended for Andressa. Turnover. 
Millions of kids nationwide are without their normal access to sports and play due to COVID-19. That's why Fox Sports and Good Sports are restoring play for kids and the programs that serve them through donations of brand new sports equipment. Text PLAY to the number on your screen to help keep kids in the game. Brazil back of the ball, trailing by a goal. Barbara. Awkwardly. Ball was out. No changes yet for the U.S. We're almost at the hour mark. Done. Horan. Good quick turn by Crystal Dawn. Slotting it through. The run was made by Lavelle. Raffaele. Good job positioning her body so that Lavelle could not make a play on the ball. And look, it's a great move by Dunn. She gets herself some time and space, but ultimately I think those are the decisions the U.S. has to improve upon. That wasn't on to force in that area. Brazil had a ton of numbers. The fluidity wasn't there from the U.S., so I think you pull out and keep possession. Strong header by Sauerbrunn, but Brazil are back of the ball. They bypass Andresinha for Andressa. Andresinha, right sideline. Ludmila has some room. Dunn will try to close on her. Ludmila's cross blocked. With Sauerbrunn, who got a leg out. Press the clearance. Appeal. Morgan in a space. Long run there. Williams on it. Barbara back pedals. But Williams in the box with one cut. Shot is blocked. Good setup from Morgan to send her in. Alex Morgan's touches have been on point today. And look, the U.S. catches Brazil out of shape. Kristen Press again back there, winning the ball in possession. She knows where her outlet is. It's Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan gets on the turn. No one pressure here. And now it's Lynn Williams. Lynn Williams, you've got pace. You can take that touch and cut off the recovery run of Raffaele. Instead, she slows up, she slows down, closes her angle, and then nothing comes of it. Those are moments Lynn Williams has to take advantage of. And dress up. Marta from distance will let it go in low. That's why. Was it deflected? Marta says it was. Corner for Brazil. So past the hour mark, still a very tight game. Much tougher competition for the U.S. playing Canada and Brazil after having the first two games friendlies against Colombia where they had really no trouble, 4 nothing and 6 nothing wins. Only three total corners tonight. That's surprisingly low. Marta puts one up. There came out, grabbed it. She started this half with 866 consecutive shutout minutes. Adding the 45 to her previous total. She was looking at a strong sun there on that corner. Camilis. Looking for the return. Camilis, but Mayor was off her line. Was able to recover. Four sonnets. For Dunn. Brazil that time it dropped off on their pressure, so the U.S. played it back. Dahl Kemper, so capable of those long passes. Finding Williams, putting one up. Alex Morgan looks for help. Morgan thought she had somebody open at the edge of the box. Ertz on a recovery for Sonnet. She'll put one in. Horan's header. What a press it looked like. 
And now it's Barbara with the distribution for Marto. Goes inside of Sonic. Taking off the ball. Horan. Lavelle. Thought Andresina clipped her, but no call. And now back to the key to Barbara. And four by Marto. Frustration. Frustration from Andresina when Barbara knocked that long. Those are, they're not winning the first. Brazil is not. U.S. is doing a great job winning the first, organizing for the second, and then picking up that third. Thank you. Thank you. In the 65th minute, U.S. with a one to nothing lead. And so far, we've only seen just that one change for Brazil, and now we're going to see a change here for the U.S. Are you surprised at this, Ali? Sophia Smith getting a great opportunity against the quality side this early. A little surprised, but excited to see it nonetheless. This is a player that, that loves getting isolated on the wing and taking on 1v1. Williams put in a shift defensively. Not a lot of production, obviously, on the offensive side of things. And that's where she has to focus her game. She wants to go to the next level. And Sophia Smith, she's a young player, and I'm excited to see how she handles this environment. You know, for all the talk, and rightly so, that Katarina Macario gets lost in the shuffle is Sophia Smith, a very talented young player. Plays for the Portland Thorns these days. It's great at the under-20 level for the U.S. Press for Dunn. U.S. still up by a goal. Dunn feeds it in, but it's too close to Barbara. It's interesting, Ali, isn't it, that of all the subs on the bench that Blanco Andorovsky could have used, he throws in Sofia Smith. It's only her second cap, but in a game that means something where she's going to be given a chance against the quality side where the game is still on the line. Well, this is also, you know, about evaluating players on your roster. Yep. Will they invite, be invited to the next camp? Will they be allowed on the roster? And I think Sophia Smith is one of those players that there's a lot of questions around being such a young ingenue. Lavelle trying to get her on. Couldn't get her on. Runa. Rose. The cross. Skipped away. Blocked. Andresinia. The confidence to play despite that pressure from Moran, but it hurt her in the end because the U.S. gets the ball back. Moran and Press together on that left side. Press and long. The cross comes all the way out. Marta on the move. The Brazilian legend will drop it back. And now it's long on this right sideline. Devinha versus Dunn 1v1. Devinha curling one. Headed away by Emily Sonnet for Crystal Dunn. tired players out there. Yeah. Priscilla back on it for Barbara. 68th minute. A game that's still very much in the balance. Just one goal separating these two. These are games, though. This one and the game against Canada that, that test you, that get you ready for the Olympics. That's a bad ball. Took it over. Blocked by Bruna. Barbara didn't do herself or her team any favors there. Andressa. Raffaele's pass to the left. Tavinis for Ludmila. Didn't get there. Cleared away. Brazil will get it back, and then that's set away by Moran. Gathered in. Julia. Didn't take the shot. Might have had an opportunity. From distance, stuck by now. And it may seem like a small thing, JP, but Crystal Dunn, she has locked down this left side. She had actually tracked a player, Andressa, into midfield, and Lindsay Oran did her job and got on that back line and ultimately was the one that got on the end of the service from Brazil. 
Those relationships that Blanco's been evaluating, relationships that he wants to continue to develop. And I think that bodes well for Lindsey Iran in that left attacking mid spot. When he talks relationships, sometimes he's talking about players on the same side. Sometimes he's talking about players beside each other in that back line. In the space, a bit too far for Alex Morgan. Tough tournament when you consider you're playing every three days. In a World Cup, it's every four. So rest and recovery are two words you'll hear a lot. Rotation, another word, as Barbara picks it up. This time, a better distribution. And press up blocked by Don. Ah, halfway line. Okay. Made off by Dabinia, then she takes off. Wanted to get that return, and she would have been open on that right side. Smith open on that right. We're going to see some changes. Morgan out. Carly mm -hmm. Lloyd in. How would you assess Alex Morgan coming back, Ali, after missing so much time? I thought she had really good touches. I thought her movement was sharp. I thought it opened up things, and there was space for her to work, so that bodes well for her. I just think she, she had a nice... A nice showing, considering it was that first start after the world. And then Megan Rapino is also going to come in, replacing Kristen Press. So the U.S. brings on a couple of veterans to try to lock this one up. And Press was lights out. I mean, I don't know why the U.S. hasn't utilized that left side more to attack Brazil. She was having her way with Kathleen, with Bruna. See another change here. Jusinara is coming in. And Cristiani is coming in. We'll have to see who's coming out. I saw Andressa leaving. And Catalin. Could be just fresh legs in here. But maybe some ideas as well. Cristiani capable of getting the goals. 57 in her international career. The look was for Cristiani there. Didn't work. The U.S. will clear. In the 73rd minute. Tamira's pass. Sandra Senior. Sonnet. Brazil back on it. Down by one against the USA in this She Believes Cup match from Orlando, Florida. Lavelle takes it. Fresh legs out there with Lloyd and Rapino. Here's Rose. That stood up there. Lost it. Rapino. Intended for Lloyd, who's getting so close to those 300 caps where only Christine Lilly and Christy Pierce have ventured. Jusinara blocked. Burkino. Horan. Look was for Sophia Smith. To Barbara. Bruna. Formerly played with the Houston Dash, member of the Olympic team back in 2012. Jusinata. Barbara. 75th minute. 
the Kristen Press goal has stood since the 11th minute. Will it be enough to give the USA six points in the top spot in the She Believes Cup standings? Long ball from Bruna. Too far intended for Marta. The long ball has not worked today for Brazil. They've tried it numerous times. They found a couple moments between the center backs, between the center back and the right back. But you're right, at teams against the U.S., typically when they're keeping it on the ground and moving it quickly through the lines, it's more profitable than those longer services because the U.S. is just so good at reading it. They're so good physically, good in the air, and then organizing for that first, second one. It's tough to beat them that way. Sauerbrunn for Dunn. Last 15 minutes plus some stoppage time. Horan. Dunn. Left sideline. This is Ertz. Out wide this time. She'll bring it towards the middle. Finding Laval. The cut. Knocked away from her. Otherwise, she might have gone in for that shot. Intended for Cristiani. It's coming all the way back to Alyssa Nair. This one should go back easily to Barbara. Ellie, if Brazil can find some room, where might they find it to get a goal against this U.S. team? Well, look, I think they've had success over on that left side. The combination of Marta and Tamiris when she was getting higher and, and getting Dabini on it at her feet. She's capable of rolling any player, of facing up and finding a special pass or going herself. You just got to get her in the game more. Cristiani looks to find Dabini. And that's just not sophisticated enough against the U.S. If Cristiani can be effective out there, she might open up more space for Dabinia or create something for herself. Yeah, and it almost looks like with her insertion, Dabinia is actually playing a little lower. I'm going to see how it plays out. But when the U.S. is sitting in deeper, you're having Haran and Ertz both back in to protect those interior passes. And look, Pia told us she wanted to see if her team was capable of picking out the right cross. We haven't seen that today. Dabini was much more active, I thought, in the first half. Second half, we haven't seen much of her. Crystal Dunn from Melissa Nair. 28-year-old left back. Should be playing for Portland when the NWSL season starts later this spring summer. Of the Challenge Cup first. Scheduled for April and then a regular season sometime in May. Sauerbrunn. Horan. Pina was after it. It's going to be a U.S. throw in. Can the U.S. close this one out? Coming from Brazil. Ludmila took it away. Games coming up two more on Wednesday. US Argentina, second game. Marta dropping it. Tamiris forced back. If this result stands, the US will be in first place, but we still have time left in this, about 12 minutes in stoppage time. Lifted long, but off target. Flicked by Ertz. Carly Lloyd. Lindsay Horan. Now it's done. Off Ludmila. Ludmila backtracks for it. Good hustle from her. The 
sends it back to her goalkeeper Barbara. Raffaele. Julia. Giussinata. Giussinata on it. Her club team is Levante in Spain. And Ertz really frustrated there with Rapino because Ertz sensed the press moment. She was the one actually triggered it, and Rapino didn't join in. Ludmilla. That's a hard challenge and a yellow card. a little frustration creeping in. Clips Lindsay Horan in a recovery effort. Eighty first minute. We have Fox Sports Rules Analyst Dr. Joe Magnick with us. How has this game been managed, Dr. Joe? We've had four yellow cards in this one. Well, the referee has a lot of experience with two World Cups under her belt and refereeing in the Honduran Men's League. She's had total control of this match and has earned the respect of all of the players. Very consistent throughout. Thank you, Doctor. Moran will push it back. And she's kept this game in control. Flag is up. Games against uh, Brazil involving the U.S. have been spirited, I would say, Ali, <laughs> over the years. Uh, I think that's a mild way to put yeah. it, yeah. So sometimes they're not easy to officiate. Brazil, though, not doing themselves any favors because one of the tiebreakers, the last one, is a FIFA fair play. And they've got so many yellow cards now. They're never winning. Here is Marta in for the media. That shot was wide. Their best chance of the night. I'm really no surprise that it's coming down that left side of Brazil. Martyr got in behind him. This is one of the few times we've actually seen her get in behind without the ball at her feet. It lands on a platter, and then she plays a perfect ball into Dabinia, and enough pressure from Becky Sauerbrunn to throw off the shot, and Marta can't believe it. The U.S. is going to make another sub. Christy Mewis will come in for Rose Lavelle. The U.S. has been getting you know, all of these games now. Getting some valuable minutes as she makes a bid to make the Olympic roster. Her sister Sam not with us, recovering from an injury at Man City. Sam U.S. has been one of the better players on this U.S. team for the better part of over a year now. Yeah, and a big miss probably in that Canada match, you could say. But Lavelle had a nice showing today. A lot of space for her to get involved. Now, Christy Mewis, different wrinkle. She's more more vertical in her play. Fourth substitution for the U.S. 83rd minute. U.S. still up by a single goal. Kristen pressed the tally in the 11th minute. Jusinara's pass. Slipping away, Julia. Out wide on the right. Ludmila, nice cut inside. Ludmila. Heels for a handball by Brazil. And one of the first times that Crystal Dunn has been beat in this match. It's a sweet cutback by Ludmilla, and she wants it on that right foot, so she arcs her run to be able to curl that into the back post, and really one of the first times that they've connected on one of their services into the 18. What's happening here, Ali, though? Two great opportunities now for Brazil in the last two or three minutes. Well, look where the ball is being played right now. U.S. has been more pinned in in their defensive end, and I think they've been content to hold possession and slow the game down. But some hairy moments. You can see possession deep. Moran's pass to the right. Smith. The cuts. Going inside. It's blocked. And now the clearance. Just a one to nothing lead. 
over Brazil. And it looks like blood has been drawn and the referee is stopping play. That's the reason for the stoppage in the 85th minute. And the U.S. lost cut. a lot of momentum. The U.S. lost a lot of momentum after they made some of those subs as well, J.P. We are going to see another change for Brazil. Young Giovanna will replace Ludmila. They call her Gio. What an interesting story she is. She has played for three teams at the youth level. One of them is the United States. Spain is the other. Brazil is the other. This is just her second cap. Her club team is Barcelona. She wants back in. So a lot of fresh legs out there at the moment, but there's not a lot of time left. Brunus pass to Juscinata. Intercepted. And then Juscinata keep going. Clipped it ahead. Sauerberg. And that was cleared by the U.S. It's a Brazil throw in. They're getting a little bit of offensive momentum here, even though they have not scored. But this time they turned it over. Well, there are some things, Ali, that Gia Sutheimer won't be happy with today. She wanted to see a lot of goals in this tournament. Has none today, but it's still a winnable game in the closing minutes, or a tying game, if you will. Come on, Car! Come on! Yeah, fair point. And overall, I think she's going to be happy with the idea that she's starting to lay down some structure for this Brazilian side that you hey, hey, hey. so free-flowing. They often suffer from defensive miscues, from defensive mishaps, from not being in shape, from not having the discipline. And that's something she's looking to rectify. I mean, I've seen Mar I've never seen Marta work back defensively yeah. as often and committed as I am today. Very good point. The U.S. will take it away. No foul was given there. to tangle, tangle up at the midfield. But Ertz, quick ball forward. Boyd trying to knock that one on, gets it back at her feet, and now she can release Sophia Smith. Left back was caught up. Marta's trying to recover, and she, in the end, is the one who snakes that one off of Sophia Smith's foot. Again, the recovery effort for Marta. Pino and Lloyd had both made good runs on that play, too. And it was going to be a narrow channel to, to cut that back ball, that ball back into Rapino, but you're right, I think it was a good option. Looked like it was closer to Lloyd, but it found Rapino. from the right side and it's Lindsay Horan serving that ball into the box and the U.S. does this they layer up each player they get in a certain line in the 18 and Lloyd's hunting for it but then Rapino cuts in at the last moment on Juicinara and connects well with it doesn't have to have a lot of power on it but it's redirecting it far enough away from Barbara that she can't get enough on it to deflect it outside the frame of the goal. 55th international goal for Megan Rapino, who had that fantastic World Cup in 2019, won every award that was imaginable in France. And she scores today as a sub. First time she's come off the bench today. It's a throw in for Dunn. 
the U.S. can be comfortable here in the 90th minute. Rapino. U.S. Now we must get some closing. Well, let's wait. Let's wait. Here's Martin. On this left side. Playing it in. That's blocked. Saw that looking. And then carrying it away. Let's get some closing thoughts, Alec, on this one. Look, I think overall, the right back position is an interesting one for this U.S. team. If Kelly O'Hare isn't fit or doesn't get healthy come Olympic time, you know, that spot is up for grabs and who's going to be there to take it? Is it Purse? Is it Sonnet? Is it someone else that's not in the fold right now? I think that's something we have to keep our eye on, JP. Overall, Brazil attacking more on that left side. We know that's where their strength is. But the U.S. struggled to defend it over there. And I think Three for minutes. the U.S., they looked explosive offensively. I think Kristen Press had herself a night and really made a case for why she should be someone to be considered in that starting lineup. On this right, Giusinata. Dunn took it away. Rapino. Lloyd trying to just keep possession. Dunn. Lloyd found herself open. U.S. is making the run. Barbara way out to clear it. Such a good idea by Lloyd, though. Ball taken away in this right side. That's Dabinia. And may have injured herself there. And trying to recover that ball. to be concerned there if they thought Dabinia was hurt. She's now one of their most vital players on that roster. Dabinia's right back out there. All the way back to Barbara. 2-0 lead now for the United States. They will be in first place at the end of this game. Argentina will play Canada later. But the most they could get would be three points for the winner of that one. So the U.S. will be in first place at the final whistle. And then we'll see what happens on Wednesday. They'll be in the driver's seat for sure, especially having to play Argentina in that last game. Canada and Brazil would meet in the other. Julia blocked. Picked off into space. And Nair off the line to grab that one. And look, those are some of the moments. Just a square ball across the midfield that the U.S. can't afford to do come Olympic time. And they pay the price in the end. So that's it, Ali. What did we learn from this game? That's two straight quality games now for the U.S. where they were competitive right to the end. Tough games. Yeah, that, I, I think the U.S., or I think Blanco will learn a lot from this team defensively and the areas they're exposed. I think it's just what the doctor ordered, but they managed those moments when things broke down incredibly well, and that's what you want to have happen because you're not going to be able to keep a team like Brazil out of goal-scoring opportunities all game long. And the U.S. in the end found two and didn't give up any. U.S. wins over Brazil by the final score of 2 to nothing. When we come back, Sarah Walsh, Heather O'Reilly, and Alexi Lalas will take it the rest of the way from our studios in L.A.